Woo! All right, folks. So uh, we literally just wrapped up the rooster video. If you guys watch that video, then it probably looks similar. Look, it's starting to rain still. I didn't even pay any attention, okay, to Buttercup. It's starting to rain. We got to get over there. But Buttercup has been pregnant, as you guys have been watching. And so we separated her in, in a previous video. I, actually, we didn't even film that. We, I was just like, hey, let's move her because we're going to the auction. And I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I see more than one goat over there. So it looks like Buttercup had her babies. It's starting to rain right now. So I want to get in there and make sure that they're taken care of. Like I so said, we moved them over. Um, we need, we'll have to get her some, some grains up. The good news is it doesn't really look like it's going to last that long. But we were literally, I was doing the outro of the of the rooster video. We shut it off. I jumped in the meal and I looked over. I looked at Ty and I was like, bro, there's there's more goats in there. So uh, this is kind of our raw reaction. I was like, all right, let's just film it. Let's just let's just get, get her done. So, oh my gosh, there's four of them. Oh my God, your kid, Buttercup. I thought I saw two. I, like even from the meal, I was like, oh, bro, there's two. They had two last time. There's four of these guys. Hey, little one. Buttercup, hey. This is your new home. Don't try to get them to go on the other side. They gotta stay over here. Oh my gosh. So You're funny. kidding. Oh, they're still wet, bro. Oh my, oh, that one still has this. That one still does it too. They have their umbilical cord dangling still. It's giving it a dangle. Oh my, buttercup, come inside. It's starting to pour, folks. This is getting bad. I mean, luckily they're in this nice shelter. Look right. at these guys. There's four of them. Look at this guy, can't even walk. Hey, Junior, you gotta pick, put your foot like one foot in front of the other. You know what I mean? You got that? Or not really. Buttercup, get out of the rain, Rick. Oh my gosh, there's four. So, okay, so here's a little backstory for you guys. So, I know, I'm, I apologize that the audio sucks. Let me see, is this mic working? Check one, two. Okay, sick. Um, the audio's probably gonna suck because we're getting rained on right now. So, but I wanted to come in here. As soon as I saw my new, obviously, we had to go look at them, make sure they're all healthy and doing what goats do. Um, especially since the storm's coming in, we want to make sure that they're all taken care of. But, okay, so here's the backstory. We bought Buttercup. Look at this little munchkin. I hear you. You're okay. You're Can we so tell if you're a boy or girl yet, or is that too early? Should be. Able that to. is a... Wiener, I think. That's a little wiener. That's I a little think. winky. Yeah. So we got a little boy, there I think. Go. Not really positive. I'm not a doctor, but I'll take a look. Anyways, um, so basically the story on <laughs> is that funny? <laughs> Too far, too far. Basically, with Buttercup is uh, the deal. We bought her when she had two babies already. They weren't babies like these guys, but they were still nursing. Um, oh, I, you know why she wants to go back? Her other two babies are over there. Should we bring them, or do you think they're okay? Her two other babies. She's trying to get through the fence. The thing, she's acting like she's acting like that's her home. Poor Buttercup. Buttercup, your babies are over here, though, buddy. I don't want to let her back over there. Her other babies are here. She might not know that. I'm trying to think what we should do. If we should grab her babies and bring her over here, or we could let her over there and see what she wants once and then um if she wants nothing other than to go lay there then we need to bring her back because we we want them separate these guys are so small they're nigerian dwarf goats little guy you're the only one that doesn't look like you know how to walk quite yet you're giving it the stanky leg right now i don't know if that's i don't know if that's normal to be honest it, 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 it very well could be like these guys literally just got popped out anyways the story i keep trying to come up with and tell you guys is we bought buttercup she had two babies they were nursing so they were young no idea she was pregnant like she had just had oreo and snickers you guys know oreo and snickers but buttercup, get inside junior it's freaking pouring your babies are going to stay in here whether you like it or not i will sleep here with them if you don't want to okay get inside here come here get inside that's all it takes there you go you're all right look here you're all right hey hey you're all right right here yeah. you guys go in the corner out of the rain come here rick come here buddy there you go hey We'll sit in here on the hay with you. Just stay here. Do go thing. So the story on Buttercup is we bought her. She had two babies, like two babies. I thought like if they're nursing, you know, th their babies getting milk. There's no way they could get pregnant. So she must have been exposed to a buck that was on the farm that we bought her from. And so she came to my house pregnant, and we had no idea. And it was only like three or four weeks ago. I'd have to go look back at the videos the first time I mentioned. I was like, Buttercup's looking a little thick, you know. Everything on the farm here, a little thick, but she's looking a little extra thick. A few extra C's on there, and she got bigger and bigger. And then even when the vet was here vaccinating all the animals in that one episode. I was like, you think she's pregnant? And he's like, yeah, she's definitely pregnant. So she started laying down a lot. She started laying down in these basically enclosures, but it's on the other side. And I'm like, she doesn't usually lay down. Like she kept laying down, laying down. So what we did before we left in the auction is we threw over here. Cause I'm like, last thing I need, is we're out of town. We're, you know, we're out at the auction. She has little babies. I didn't know there was gonna be four. I expected two. And you know, Rick comes running along. Dale comes, you know, flopping along and starts kicking them around. Not intentionally, not saying we have mean animals, but they are so tiny that they could, I mean, they're, they look so fragile. Look at them. They're just like, they can't even freaking walk. They're just standing there, barely even walking. Poor Buttercup, you got four babies. Your belly looks real big. Sure you ain't got more in there? Oh, I, I don't really want to reach my arm in there and check. I, I trust your judgment here. I assume there's no more in there. I might need to make a phone call. Um, last time I had a baby goat was Karen's. Surpr everything is surprisingly pregnant out here, okay? The only thing that I know is pregnant that was intentional is the donkey. Everything else, we didn't know. Karen was pregnant by Felipe. We didn't know. Buttercup was pregnant by, we don't know who the dad 
is. Um, at least a goat on the other farm. Um, but I'm, I, last time I did this, I called Lumna and Arms uh, Family Homestead. They're two really awesome dudes. They're goat farmers. They also have channels. So I'm going to give them a call and just, you know, make sure them not walking is normal. Because actually Lumna has Nigerian dwarf goats, so it'd be very similar. When Karen had her baby and I found him, the baby was running around like it's been there for two weeks. These guys are coming. They basically came out looking like what I would expect. They're, they're wet. They can't really walk. They can't stand up. So I'm going to give Lumna a phone call real quick and, uh, and just see if he tells me, like, you know, this is all normal. All right, let's call my buddy Lumna. I'm not a goat farmer. He is, so he might be able to help us make sure we're doing all right. Your call. Rip. All right, let's call Arms. I was I'm calling everybody on an evening on the weekend. Hey, this is Rip. Let me send both of them some pictures so they kind of know it's an emergency here and see if they'll answer. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Oh, just out here. Surprise births again. <laughs> Four of them this time, nice. I got four, yeah, because we bought Buttercup and didn't have any male, so she came pregnant yep. without us knowing. Uh, Cause she, we bought her with those two babies, so like, I guess she got pregnant in between that window, which I didn't know could happen, I guess. But uh, we kind of knew she was pregnant. I mean, she she got big, unlike Karen. Um, but then, yeah, we we just came back uh, from the auction, and there's four little babies running around. So uh, I just wanted to make sure again, like everything's good. I'm watching one right now uh, get nursed, so obviously they, one of them found it. A couple yeah. of them, I mean, they can't really walk. Is that pretty normal for dwarf goats like this? the other goat was just like running around out the gate and these guys like are kind of dragging their back feet a little bit they're standing up but they just you know obviously so they're, they're toppling they're, around you gotta need to give them a shot of boise b-o-s-e i don't know if you you can like the local tractor supplies around here have it okay if not call your vet it's probably a selenium deficiency so that's not normal if they can't really walk right out the gate correct they should be able to walk right out the gate but if you give them a shot of that b-o-s-e b-o-s-e okay yeah boise they call it something like that okay That'll, that'll straighten them right out. Okay, yeah, because like it looks like there might only just be one that's kind of bad. Like the other three are doing a lot better. Uh, there's one though that's struggling pretty hard to walk. So I just wanted to see if that was normal. So okay, so I'll have to go. I'll make some phone calls, see if I can find some, get a hold of that if tonight. Not, if not, you can use a selenium and vitamin E gel. It's like a squeeze tube. Okay. And that's the same thing. We did that to our goats last year. Let me write this down so I don't forget. BOSE is what I preferably need. And that's a shot, like a that's, like a vaccine right, so type thing. It'll be a, correct. It'll be an injectable shot. Injectable shot. Okay. And then the other option is what it was it called? It's Selenium. S-E-L-E-N-I-U-M. Okay. And vitamin E. It's like a gel. It's like a Got squeezable it. tube. Got it. And you just make them put it down their throat and squeeze it out or? Yes. That okay. one, it tells you only how much to give. How, how like to do it? Two, yeah. Okay. And you just put it in there and squeeze it in and so. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. I'm seeing. I'm watching one nurse. I've, I've been trying to make sure that they can they can get on it. I assume there's no more in there. I mean, she still looks really big. Is that normal for them to still look pretty big? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Willow only had one. She looked pretty big for like a day or two. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure. <laughs> um. I doubt she's got more than because she had two last time and then had four this time. I don't know if that's normal or not, but. Yeah. Four. That's a that's a good number. For okay. Nigerian. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So I'll get the. I'll have to go get that stuff. If they're all if like one of them's walking fine, I shouldn't give it to them, or should I just give all of them? Just I'll to be just safe. Give it to them all. Of them. Give it to them all. Just okay, because they're, yeah. I mean, none of them are walking real great. Um, yeah. But, okay. Any, is there any anything else, anything I need to get for the mom? Uh, she's looking real tired. Like, she keeps yawning and kind of like closing her eyes a little bit. Yep. Uh, uh, is there anything I can give her to, to boost her, or she is that just normal, and I don't have to worry about she's it? She's gonna be tired anyways. It's okay. kind of normal, but you could get, a, if you're at tractor supply, they do make like a, um, if they have a probiotic you can give her. Okay. And you just mix that with water. Got it. Okay. All right. Um, I don't think, I think that should be about it. Is there anything else you can think of that I might need to grab if I'm going out or running to the vet or something for any of these guys? No, I think that should be pretty well. Okay. Good. I've got them, I've got them separated because they're just such little guys. I didn't want to risk any of these bigger animals stomping on them or nothing. So I've got them in a separate big pen right now. Uh, yep. that's in close. So they should be okay. And I'll just bring some hay and grain and water for the mom and let have her lay in yep. here. How, how long should I have her be alone with these guys before I introduce them to the other animals? Most, do you think at least two weeks wow okay gotcha yeah keep it for two weeks got it all right yeah but then and then once you do introduce and just keep an eye on and see yeah make sure the mother stays near him and defends him and if not just keep him separated for longer got it okay all right well that sounds good i really appreciate it that's a big help not a problem awesome man take care see ya wow all right shout out to lumna by the way that's so we got a mission folks the video ain't over yet uh it, none of these guys are walking that great there's one that's really struggling uh oh arms is calling me let's see what he has to say hey what's up oh, oh sorry
So. You're good. Um, I just got the phone with Lumna. This is the. I feel like this is deja vu from like two months ago. I just have babies on the ground. And I'm just calling everybody I know, making sure they're good. Um, so, okay, what kind, what's that? What kind of they're they're Nigerian dwarf goats. Oh, yeah, that's who you had before. Uh, yeah, they're the. It's just the. We just had the one, one Nigerian. She was like the spotted one, but she came. We bought her pregnant because we didn't have a buck. Can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Yeah, you're you're breaking up. Better is that better? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're they're Nigerian dwarf goats, and we we bought the one female, no bucks or anything, but and she had those two babies with her, so she came pregnant, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Which I I didn't know like you could get pregnant that fast, you know. Uh -huh. But so I know I talked to Lumna. He there's a couple of them that are kind of struggling walking, so he told me um to go and get some B, it's B Bose or something B O S E um if they have it, if not some selenium vitamin E for them, I guess yeah. will help them. Does that sound about right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is there anything else besides that that you think I should give these guys well nothing wrong with that that's probably the best thing you can do what is you sorry you uh, broke up the best thing you can do you broke um, you broke up again sorry selenium selenium okay can you hear me yep yes an issue uh, but if you can't find that stuff a lot of a lot of farm stores track supply on orsland or something they'll they'll sell some some different stuff like called bounce back or basically it's just like a nutrient drench to help kind of boost them, jump start. Got it. Yep. Okay. So best bet, just run a tractor supply then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then he told me just to look for some probiotic stuff for the mom because she's like, I mean, she's looking real tired. She's like yawning and her eyes are kind of shutting and stuff. Yeah. So she's just probably just a little over overworked. With, yeah. Are her other babies still trying to nurse on her still? I mean, not not really. I mean, they probably stopped maybe a month ago though. It wasn't like that far off. Yeah. She just hadn't had much of a break. She's no. Just worn down. Yeah, I'm sure. So I've got her separated with her four new babies and one of those different red barns should i bring her two other babies and put them in here or do you think I, they're fine gosh i mean she's gonna take everything she's got to to, to do the, to, to do those. these four so do, i mean they're they're yeah. like right now we have them separated and they're eating hay and couldn't care less so i figured i would just leave them separate yeah just you're just really gonna have to watch those four because if you got that many babies it's hard for her to nurse all four of them all the time yeah for sure. You may end up having to put one or two on the bottle if they get real weak and they can't, you know, don't look like they're nursing much. Okay. Or you may just, you may have, in the past, what I've done is kind of supplement with a bottle instead of just completely pulling them and making them bottle babies. Okay. Some of them don't look like they're growing as well. Yeah. I'll, I'll give them a bottle to also leave them with the mom so that. But just, yeah, but just, just come down and give them a bottle when you can, just to make sure they're get, they're getting what they need, right? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. You, you're just saying give yeah. them a bottle here and there, um, if they're looking weak, but don't pull them from the mom then. Yeah, if, if, I mean, if you can get them up and going now, I mean, that's, that's what's most important right now with the, you know, the selenium issue, get their legs under them and get them moving. Okay. But over the next few days to a couple weeks, just really watch if one of them, one or two of them is getting, doesn't look like it's getting... As big as the, others. the other guys are taking over too much. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah, so just make sure I see each one of them under her, you know, frequently, I guess. Yeah. Got it. And if you'll know if one of them's not doing as good, it'll be obvious. Got it. Okay. So awesome. It's just hard for them to produce that much milk for four babies. But, yeah. But I've had them do it before, but then I've also had to pull some and put them on a bottle too. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds good. I appreciate it. I better run a tractor supply then and get all that, all that stuff. So, all right. Well, I appreciate the help very much. Thank you so much. All right. I'll take care. All right, we're uh, we gotta go to Tractor Supply, folks. This is uh, I was watching them though. I I saw I think I saw every single one. Maybe maybe the spotted one not get milk. So what Arm said the same thing. We need to go to Tractor Supply. We need to get everything and vaccinate the not vaccinate. That's the wrong word. Basically, gotta give them some boosting. Um, of, that is the first rooster crow we have heard, just documented for you guys. Uh, we just need to make sure she's good, so we're gonna give her some boosters, give the babies boosters. Both Lumna and Arms were both kind of like, four is a lot, so there's a good chance. Does it look like the sun is rising? There's a good chance that uh, we're going to have to bottle feed, put them on the bottle, which is, it, it, I don't mind it, it's just a lot of commitment every single day, multiple times a day, you gotta feed them. I'm gonna do it if we need. What is going on over there? Uh, and so we, uh, either way, long story short, I'm done talking. We gotta go to the store and uh, hopefully all these babies are getting getting milk and nursed and hopefully we don't lose anything. Hopefully they're all healthy. So we're gonna run to the store, you guys stay tuned. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, Millie, 
Melly, you just relax. The, uh, all the stores are closed right now. It was too late. Um, so I made some more phone calls and most of everyone that I'm talking to says that they believe they'll be fine until the morning. I mean, luckily that's not more than 12 hours from now. Um, so we're just gonna keep a close eye on them. We're gonna head up, I need some food. Um, I'm starving. And then I'm gonna come check on them tonight. Make sure they're good. They should stay nice and warm. Um, and then tomorrow morning, first things first, we're gonna go run and grab all that and then hopefully get all these guys kind of back to, to full health. Right now, they're okay, they're chilling, but we gotta give them a few things. So anyways, see you guys in the morning. Shoo! How's it going, folks? It's the next day. We got a new camera and uh, hopefully it works today. Uh, but we are at Tractor Supply. Bonzo's joining us. He has yet to meet the babies. And uh, one of them, I checked on him this morning and one of them, was, there was only one that was like still struggling to walk. Uh, it was one that was kind of struggling last night, but now the rest of them are good running around. There's only one that's struggling, but I'm going to get all the medicine needed for everything. The mom, all the babies. We're going to get stuff for uh, bottle feeding in case we need to go down that route. But uh, either way, let's see what we can find. Here we go. See, selenium this thing big word for us uh this is what you're this is the the lack of selenium is causing the goats not to be able to walk so this is uh let's see how much is this good for uh direct use dosage uh newborn is two gms and this is a total of uh 80 gms so, so yeah, like you're good good yeah. like real good and it says use once every 30 days so is there a smaller one is this a is this a here's a lamb and kid something lamb and contains source of uh something i mean we could just get the selenium just so we i mean we could always just yeah. hang on to it i guess because i don't it's also cheaper than that one so. is it really yeah oh then it, then rip i don't want that okay so then there's another thing called bounce back yeah which i think this is is for nine species of young and adult animals so i think this is could, this could be could be used for the mom i don't think it's for the babies necessarily it says lamb or goat kid mix five levels bounce back and two cups of warm water uh, offer the solution at a rate of half a cup all right we'll get it we'll figure out if we need to do anything with this and then so the question is Okay, there's kid milk, so we're gonna need. You ever uh, give, give something a bottle, like a baby? We did Betsy. Oh, we did Betsy. Okay, we we're have done Betsy, so we're not we we're not completely. No, we don't. Um, kid milk. I mean, that would pretty much be it, right? Feed yeah. day two through weaning. We're on day two. That's good. All right, here you go. Grab that. Okay. So then you need a nipple. That might be kind of a big yeah, nipple. No, you got no, they got smaller no, nipples. Like is that a little no. nipple? It says that lamb and kid oh, bottle. Okay. 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 Is that is that is that the proper nipple though? I'm sure you probably gotta cut that. You just cut the top of it. Yeah, I mean that looks about proper nipple size yeah there's, like there's those, more nipples that's about the same size yeah i think okay. it works so that and then it's just mixed in the water i'm pretty sure yeah okay so we've got milk we've got bottles we have bounce back and we've got the selenium i don't think there was anything else that i can think of because i'm pretty sure the bounce back is for the mom yeah. is what they were saying the need this for a carol put, put, put that on carol and just let the carol walk around. Yeah, that's what okay. I'm well, I mean, I think that's pretty much all we need. I don't think there's anything else. We should be able to hopefully take care of the babies uh, using what we just have here. So, anyways, we're gonna go head out of here awesome. and see you guys back home. Shoo! All right, folks, we made it back home and uh, we got the goods. Bonzo, he's uh, he's a father, as you guys may or may not know, and he mixed this up according to actually Macy did it. So we've got this stuff, selenium gel. That is the milk. We're gonna feed. There's one goat that has a really tough time walking, and I have yet to see it touch the nipple. And so I'm going to give it this bottle. You're supposed to give them like three of these bottles. You're supposed to give them one of these bottles three times a day. But I'm just gonna give them one. Um, and then this concoction is two gallons of water with that bounce back stuff, and that is gonna be for Buttercup. So we're gonna go try to. I've never. I actually I've never fed a goat by a bottle. I've done one cow one time, and uh, I mean, it, it didn't go too bad. Never fed a goat, so we'll see how this goes. Hey, oh little babies. Gosh, they're small. Look how tiny they are. You guys sleeping? Where's the fourth one? Uh oh. Uh oh. Where's number four? Oh, it's back here. What? Oh, what are you, where, oh, buddy. what are you doing back here, Junior? Hey, bud. Oh my this gosh, ain't it. So you, small. You can't be outside the pen. Where's your mom? Why didn't your mom come and tell you to go over? Come here, buddy. You're, this is one of the healthier ones. This is like the, one of the all white ones. Hey, bud. Yeah, you're cute. What happened? Where's Buttercup? <coughs> I hear you. Let's go. Is this a boy? <coughs> Looks like a boy. Is that a weenie? No, what's that? No, no that's what's the, that. That's a tweener. Oh, is that a weenie? Hey, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, do we have all boys? Yeah. I don't even know. We we should check them today. Buttercup, why would you leave your baby out there? Why do you Buttercup. do? Buttercup. You are not a good mom. So the one that's struggling is the other white one. 
This white one? I think yeah, it's the white with one. with the spot on his head. Yeah, I think she's struggling. That guy, see, that guy's running fine. You're running fine. Hey, get up. Come on, let's get up. Let's see how you're walking. You too. Come on. Up, up, uppity. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. That one's for sure good, and this one looks good. This one I'm not sure about. This one, this back leg's not very his strong. back right leg. Okay. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's going to hurt to give them all in because they're all not super, super strong. Like, that one's probably the best one. Yeah, that one, she's still struggling. Or he. That's a boy peeing out the front there. Buttercup, you got to you gotta stay in here, my guy. You can't be ditching them. You got you to gotta guard your guard your kiddos, you know what I mean? Yep, she's still struggling pretty yeah, good. Yeah, this one's doing good. That, one, that guy's doing the best for sure. All right. Hey, Bubba. You, I don't know why you were outside the pen, though, you little squirt. All right, so let's give this one first. Let's get this one selenium and see how it goes, because okay. then we're going to give that one the milk. Because this this one's still kind of struggling, so both of these for sure yeah. selenium. I mean, and that one's getting milk mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, see, it's already going down. Okay. So let's see how this thing works. So we have to give them two. Oh, yeah. So there's markers on this, and that's how many grams. So it's hard because it goes by five, but you only have to give them two. So I'm going to try. You want to get it on the back of their tongue. There you go. Yum, yum, yum. Yep. Yum, 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 buddy. Eat up. You want a bottle? You want a bottle? Here, come on. Open up. Open up, little guy. Come on. Oh, she likes that it. Good? Yeah. There you go. Oh, come on. Let's let, give her a second. Let her swallow what she's got. She got a little bit of milk. Hey, bud. So that one's getting milk pretty good, so I'm not worried about that one at all. Yeah. That's the that's the darkest. It's got the most color. Yeah. Hey, where are you going, squirt? You want this? You want... Here, take the bottle. We got to give you a bottle, buddy. We got to give you this bottle. Come on. Open, open. Come on, you not like it? It's it's still pretty warm. All right, do you want some selenium? Let's let's give her a second. Uh, open up, buddy. All right, I know. Got it. <laughs> yep, it's in there. Yummy. Munch, 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 buddy. There you go. There you go. I don't know how well that tasted, but you know, maybe you'll start walking a little bit better, huh? We only got to do this every 30 days, so I'm just gonna pot pipe it in all of them. I think they. I don't think it's gonna hurt them. Okay. Especially that one. That one's the best one, but that one we should give it to. Two more grams. All right, buddy. buddy. Open up. There it goes. Yep, got it. There you go. Choo choo choo. Swallow, buddy. So is this one a male? I haven't. I don't know. We should. We should check them all real quick. That is a male. We know so this that's is a, male. a male. That one I saw on pee, I'm pretty sure is a male. That's a male. So that's a male. I think, at least I, I, I'm thinking, I think that's a male too. Unless unless I'm looking at, I mean, it's not where the umbilical cord's coming down, but it's right in front of the umbilical cord, and that looks like they got a little nuts All right, you ready? Open up. I know, it's no fun. Got it. So we did four, so that should have been eight, and it started. Uh, yeah, we're good then. Oh yeah, that one likes that it. That one like it. Yeah. I, just, I don't know. So that's the other one. Yeah. So the both. So both the multicolored rounds. ones are, are getting milk yeah. easily. Don't know about the two white ones. The two white ones, we're not sure. All right. Well, let's give them a minute and let's change out her water so she's got some of the boo stuff on. It's good because the babies can't get in it. She can still get it, so that'll be her water. If you guys have any tips, you let me know. Obviously, we're newbies here. I know some really awesome guys, like Arms and Lum that I called. They might know how to give, get this one on the bottle better, but I'm pretty sure they're all males. I Like, I don't know. I see, I see what I think to believe is a wiener and a little nut sack, but I don't know. I'm also not a doctor. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. No, she's not taking it. She she got some milk down her throat, yeah. but like we were she just pouring it. She, she wasn't, wasn't sucking. Sucking. Hey, bud. Why don't you guys like your milk? Oh, so now that white one is taking. Okay. So the one that we have not seen on the nipple is getting the nipple. That's a good thing then. There you go. Look at the little white guy go. Good job, Buttercup. Killing it. Look, the little white guy's getting it. Look at that. Cheese and rice. Get after it, my guy. You're hungry. So come to find out, um, they didn't like the bottle. We researched how to how to give it to them. Um, you pretty much have to like force it down their throat, and um, they didn't like it. And again, it wasn't it wasn't super warm. I'm thinking that it was probably a little bit cooler than what it should be. It should be about 110 according to the instructions. And maybe the babies don't like it when it's that cold. Um, like I said, it wasn't cold. It was just it wasn't probably 110. I don't know what it was. Like we literally heated it up and then we brought it down. So whatever it cooled off in that time period is what it was. They didn't like it, but then I was like, all right, let's just give them a break. I don't want to harass them. Keep shoving stuff down their throat. 
throat. And as we were just chilling, the white one that we were trying to feed is getting it. And every single other one, the only one that we're still slightly worried is the one that has the issue with the legs. Um, but we did see that one under Buttercup. We just never saw it latch on to her nipple. So it's a, it's. I think we'll be okay. I don't think we're gonna have to bottle feed them. Um, we're gonna keep a close eye on it. Macy's actually gonna come down. Her family's here, and they're gonna come hang out for a couple hours. So I'm gonna tell her, hey, keep an eye on the guy that you know can't walk that well. And if he latches onto the nipple, then I think we are in the clear. We got them all. Their all they need, all the nutrients. Buttercups water looks like some some little blue Gatorade and uh, so as long as she drinks that she'll be good We're gonna grab some hay for her some grain make sure she's taken care of and leave these guys the heck alone I mean, that's the biggest thing is not really us, but just you know, not stressing out the mama We want her to be as calm and you know willing to let all the all the babies feed as much as possible But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It is uh, <laughs> wow We just got four more babies um, and I think they're all males again I'm not I don't know exactly how to look it up or anything, but I mean, you know I to, to my knowledge, what I saw was four guys. I feel like that's pretty uncommon to get four males. It could be common. I'm not really sure. Who's screaming? Anyways, what I was saying is I believe all four of them are males. We're not sure. Um, we basically, we looked, at least to my knowledge, they look like males. Um, I, that's crazy if there's actually four males. But I think there's four males in that bunch. Four new goats on the farm. We're going to keep them separated for a while, though, because they are, they're so much smaller than Karen's baby. And they're in, like, way, not, I wouldn't say, like, worse condition, but, like, Karen's baby, when I found her, looked like she had been there for three months and just ripping around, dried off. These guys are treating, you know, they look more like just newborn babies. So we're going to give them some time. Uh, alumna said at least two weeks in here um, by themselves and then introduce them. And then as long as Buttercup's still, you know, staying around them and protecting them, it should be good. Um, but anyway, Anyways, like I said, this isn't a normal vlog. Normally we're doing crazy things and there's so much action and pretty much the only thing that happened is, well, we had some babies and we went and got all the stuff to make sure that they're nice and healthy and gave it to them. And that's pretty much all that we have for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed, let me know in the comment section down below. You can name them. They all look different. So if you want to describe them, I mean, you guys probably got a pretty good look at them throughout the video. Um, if you want to name them, feel free. Go ahead. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and peace.